Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. This is going to be another level of human resource machine and this time it's called Countdown, year 19. Now here we get new, uh, two new commands, uh, commands they're called Bump uh, Plus and Bump Minus and what these do is they decrease a number by one or increase it by one. So if I were to put eight here and then bump it down, it would become a seven and then you would pick up at that seven. Uh, if I were to bump, down, uh, bump it down again, uh, let me just show you what, what it's going to do. If I were to bump it down again, it would then become a six. There we go. So basically, this is bumping down and bumping up. And this is what we have to use to try to solve this level. And it's called countdown. So here, for each number, we're going to pick it up. And if it's positive, we're going to count down and put every single number that's counting down. So like nine, eight, seven, six, five, four into the out box until zero. We stop at zero and then we go to the next number. If it's a negative number, we're going to be going up. So minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two. So it sounds, uh, sounds pretty challenging. And um, so my first solution was actually kind of like this. And so this was kind of my original solution here. And what I would do here is basically pick up a number. And if it's zero, you literally just put it right into the out box right away. If it's negative, you would go into the negative section where you're basically using a uh, bump up command. And if it's, if it's positive, you just keep going and use the bump down command. So what it would do is this, uh, put the four down here, then start bumping it, pick up the new number, put it down here, and so on and so forth, until it becomes zero. Now, once it becomes zero, you pick up that zero and you return it to the out box. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't really give you any challenges, so I tried to modify this a little bit to, to make it um, like this, to make it much, much simpler. Now, this is actually um, probably one of the simpler solutions you'll, you'll find in here. What we're doing is, well, you can just copy this. Basically, we're picking up from inbox and copying it to zero, um, then we're putting it into the out box and this is where the loop starts. Uh, for every number, you're going to basically check if it's zero. If it's zero, you return to the inbox, pick up the new number. If it's negative, you go into the bumping loop. And if it's positive, you go into the bumping uh, down loop. So bumping up for, for uh, negatives and bumping down for positives. So it's a very, very elegant solution. And this will give you all of the challenges as well. So basically, here you go. You're doing exactly the same thing, except it's much more um, much more effective and much more elegant and definitely is probably one of the shortest ones you'll find for this level. So there's only 10 steps and this will give you the highest achievements. And so this gives you the size challenge achievement, but to get the speed challenge, you actually have to try something else. And in my case, I just used my long solution here to give me a speed challenge. Basically, um, you can kind of copy this as well if you would like, and this will give you the speed challenge, uh, achievement because it's only using the loop here and uh, doesn't have as many jumps as the other solution. And here we go, speed challenge of 82 steps. So this is how you complete the countdown. This will give you both uh, achievements here. And what we can do next is let's take a look at this uh, level right here. This is probably m one of my most favorite levels because it really uh, approached uh, math from such a different perspective. And here we're talking about multiplication. So multiplication workshop year 20. Now in this level, um, as you can imagine, you actually have to uh, multiply numbers. Now, what you're doing is you're taking two numbers, in this example, one and five, you cross multiplying them and then you're outputting or outboxing the results. Now, sounds pretty simple, but here's the trick. There is no multiplication sign anywhere. You actually have to use addition and subtraction to try to, um, to, try to solve this. Now, here, this would be a lot more difficult. Eight and eight. So how do you actually cross multiply eight and eight to get 64? Now, one solution that you may think of is, so let's just say you put down a number here and put down a second number here. And for every bump down that you basically uh, create, so once this becomes seven, you will add up this eight to itself. So in other words, this is what we're doing here. I'm gonna show you my, uh, my first solution to this. And we're gonna pick up a number. And okay, that, that one that one was easy because it's just one. Okay, so let's do the second one. So here we go, eight and eight. So we're going to bump it down right away, put down an eight here, and then add it to itself. Now this is the added number, and now we're gonna just keep doing that uh, over and over. For every bump down, we're going to add eight to this number uh, to make it a little bit higher. So for every bump down until zero, we're going to be doing this, and at zero, we're going to stop and basically output the. Uh, solution. Now, this is a relatively long solution. 
And this is one that really took me quite a few hours to actually solve because I was trying to figure out how to do it more effectively. And so eventually I found a perfect solution that I'll show you in a second. Um, because this is kind of long. I think, uh, I'm not sure if this gives me any achievements, but this is definitely a lot longer than it should be. So unfortunately this gives me no achievements. So let's go back and let's do another one here. And here is a slightly more elegant solution and this only has 15 steps. So basically this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the, these two numbers and put them here and here. We're also going to take this zero and put it in the eight. Um, what this is, this is actually our sum. So our sum in the beginning is just zero. Now for every bump down of, of this number, we're going to um, add zero to this number and then put it back here. So this is going to be our sum and this is going to be our check for uh, what we're doing. To, uh, we're not going to be checking for zero, we're actually checking for negativity here. So if once this number becomes negative, we're going to pick up the final sum and put it in the, uh, um, into the out box. So this is, this is what is going to happen. So put zero here, this is our sum. This is our first number and this is our check. So this is our multiplier. Bump it down and add this to this number. This is our new sum. Bump this down again. Pick up this number, add it to this. And lastly, bump this down, pick up the sum, add it to this. And once this becomes negative, we're going to stop doing this. We're going to pick up our final number and put it into the out box. Now this, if you were to solve it in, with this particular solution, would give you, I believe this gives you the speed challenge. Oh, sorry, not the speed challenge, the size challenge, because it's a very short solution. And so what you'll get here is the shortest possible solution with only 15 steps. And this is probably the shortest one I found so far. Um, now, we still need to get a speed challenge, and this is actually a little bit trickier. Uh, the easiest way to get a speed challenge uh, with something like 80 steps is to actually just manually try to multiply these over and over. So literally just write a really long function that's like 80 steps long. And um, this means you may have to actually look at the numbers that you have here or possibly try to figure out some other strategy. And so here is the solution that actually is really long, but at the same time, this will give you the shortest possible solution that I found so far um, without using really any kind of complex um, uh, scripts. So the first part here is a jump and this jump will take you to uh, 2F. This, uh, this takes us to F and you'll see why in a second. And then uh, in our A section, we're going to have out box, in box, and another jump to G this time. Um, then in our B section, we have out box and a jump to E. Um, then in C section, we don't really have anything. In this section, we have copy from four and an out box. Um, e, F are empty. And then in G, we have the following. We have in box jump if zero to a copy to six copy to four inbox jump if zero to b um copy to eight bump down eight jump if zero to c and uh then we have our h block finally where you have copy from four add six copy to four bump uh, uh down eight jump if zero to d and lastly jump back to h here so this is our loop that we're going to be using to multiply things now this is a relatively long solution but i think this will give me the um, fastest speed here because we're basically doing the same thing uh we're using sums and we're using outputs but because there's less loops here there's only really one major loop here this will be a relatively fast solution as you can see it's already going really really fast so let's see what we get as a result and look at that 108 we actually beat this by one step so this is how I've unlocked both of the solutions here, and this is Multiplication Workshop. This was probably one of the more difficult levels I've encountered in this game so far, except for the extra levels, and it's definitely fun to beat by yourself. Anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to take a look at Fibonacci sequence and also the zero terminal sum. And Game Leader, bye-bye.